How's it going everyone? I hope you're all doing good. In this video, I'm going to show you an easy method for drawing the torso of the figure, including the head, because why not? If we have these three major masses drawn out, then it's just a case of sticking the arms and legs on, right? And then we have a person. It might not be that easy, but let's see how we go. So first of all, this method is inspired by some of the content I came across in Michael Hampton's book, figure drawing, design and invention. He shows how to use boxes to indicate the landmarks of the ribcage and pelvis, positioning them in perspective. I believe Proker has also made a video on what he calls the robo bean, which is a, a similar approach. Anyways, I'm also going to show you a similar approach and use some boxes to position the three major masses, being the head, ribcage and pelvis, in perspective on various angles. And then we can use these boxes as the underlying construction to then draw more realistic forms. Before we begin drawing though, let's review the proportions. So this is something that I've put together to give us an idea of the proportions of all of these masses we will be drawing. And as always, it doesn't have to be perfect, but it's good to keep these in mind as a rough guide. Here there's a front view and a side view, and you'll notice that I've measured these in head units, this being the size of the head, or skull in this case, and so essentially the height of the box we draw for the head will be how we can judge the size of the other boxes and vice versa. Notice as well how these boxes encapsulate these masses, and how on a side view the ribcage and pelvis angles away from each other. Also pay attention to the shape of the spine, that's similar to an S shape when in a neutral position. Now we are going to be drawing this on many angles in different positions eventually, but to start I think it would be useful to draw it in this neutral position first and rotate it around so that we can get a better idea of the volumes we are dealing with. So here I'll start by drawing that same front view here and I'll slowly start to turn this around. Again we are looking at this front on and so we won't necessarily see the top and bottom of these forms yet. Notice how when we do turn these around though we start to see the side planes. This is on a, a three quarter view and as I continue this I'm observing the proportions of that front view. It's useful to have that there as a reference. I also make sure to draw through these boxes here so that I can get a better idea of these forms. Again here we come around to that side view and then another three quarter view from the back. Finally I'll end this on a back view and I'll spend a minute here just shading this in, emphasising these volumes. So that's what we are going to be drawing in this video, these three boxes which establish the position of these masses in perspective before developing them further and drawing in some more realistic forms for the head, ribcage and pelvis. Forms that I have covered how to draw more in depth in individual study sessions, videos that are also available on the channel. Okay, so now let's start to draw these boxes for the figure at different angles but still in the same neutral position for now. First of all, this does require some understanding of perspective, and if you don't have much experience drawing in perspective, you might find this more challenging. The good thing is that these are just boxes at different sizes, which are fairly easy to draw freehand in context with each other. Again, the longer box for the ribcage will be tilting backwards, whilst the smaller box for the pelvis will be tilting forwards and in this neutral position, the lines heading to the right would converge to the same vanishing point. Now, as I said, don't get too hung up on being perfect with your proportions here. These boxes are to only act as a guide for drawing the more complex, realistic forms in the right position, although they do indicate the proportion of some important landmarks. Anyways, here you can see how I approach each of these and that image that I had shown at the start of the video is a good reference to observe to remind me of the proportions. Again, I'll also add some shading to these to emphasise these boxes in this example. 
So I advise practicing this in the same order as this video because you want to familiarise yourself with these boxes and be comfortable drawing them together before you start challenging yourself and drawing them in more varied positions. Now before we move on, I'm going to rewind a little bit and use these boxes to draw in the more realistic forms for these three masses. It's times like this when I wish I worked digitally because if you do, you could essentially put these boxes on a separate layer and turn down the opacity to work over the top of them, but here I have to deal with these pencil lines. Regardless, I, I can still use this and the boxes that encapsulate these forms tend to help emphasise their position. So here you can see how I typically start with the head up top and divide this box into three segments to construct the head. And this is actually the Loomis method, I believe. I think I'll do a, a separate video looking at how to draw the head in boxes the same as these. So by the time you are watching this, that video might be on the channel. Anyways, after drawing the head, I tend to move down to the rib cage, connecting this to the head by drawing a cylinder for the neck. The simplified form I draw for the rib cage was something that I covered in the study session that I made on that subject. It's a method by Gottfried Barnes that I find to be the most effective. They are essentially an egg shape, and I add two spheres at either side at the top of the box to indicate the shoulder joints, and this is where you'd add the arms at a later stage. Moving down from the rib cage to the pelvis, I start to block this out as a bucket. Again, the bucket method by Proko, that was also inspired by Barnes, I believe, is what I find to be the best method for drawing such a, a complex form like the pelvis. Again, it's as if we are developing this in stages, starting with the boxes, then drawing the simplified forms, and then, if you want to, developing this further and drawing in the more realistic forms. I actually made a video doing this, summarising how these simple forms represent their actual ones. Of course, these methods for drawing them were done so with that being the intention. When I've drawn all of these in, I'll often connect them up with some curved lines and also add a line for the spine. And I sometimes start by drawing in that line for the spine first, seeing as these masses are connected to that, and in, in different positions it can be useful to have that established first to then build off of. Because these are all in that same neutral pose, it was fairly easy, and I was using the previous ones as reference for the next, and hopefully it will give you a better idea of these simplified forms, which again you might want to study in isolation first before bringing them together like this. So that is how you develop those boxes to draw the torso of the figure in perspective. Now, we are not done yet because although we've been drawing this on various angles, we have yet to draw it on various angles in different positions, not just in that same neutral pose. So now let's bring all of this together and start to do that. So this will be a, a step up in terms of difficulty, especially when relying on your own imagination and understanding of the figure. That's why you might want to look at some reference images of the body in different positions. In, in fact, that's what I should have done, uh, because here I was just somewhat improvising and positioning these boxes as I went along. It's a valuable exercise to do that though, and this is a, a very practical means of drawing the figure from imagination. I continue to approach these the same as the others, except the boxes are in different positions, meaning the simplified forms within them will be as well. That's why it's useful and essential to practice drawing each of them on their own. The boxes that I draw first obviously dictates the position of these realistic forms, so you need to have a, a lot of consideration when drawing them. I find it useful to try and visualise the developed forms within these boxes as I'm positioning them in perspective. And another thing to point out is that the size of these boxes are still the same, it's just on certain angles they can look different. As I said earlier though, it, it doesn't have to be perfect as long as they help to guide you when positioning the more simplified forms. And you can see how I approach each of these the same way. So some of you will know that I've been covering anatomy on the channel through these study session videos that I've been making and I've been approaching these in a, a somewhat linear fashion starting with the skeleton and so on and I do go into a fair bit of detail in those videos but in, in addition to them I also want to make some content like this on the side where I focus on other methods and ways to draw the figure 
because again if you didn't know the study sessions are also a way for me to learn myself whilst also sharing what I cover with you guys so expect more figure drawing content on the channel of course perspective is something that plays a part and I have a, a series of videos on that subject as well anyways I'm just about finished drawing in these figures on screen so I'll wrap this up so there we go, I hope you found this video useful, if you did then please leave a like and like I said I'm going to be making some more videos like this alongside the more in-depth study sessions so I hope you look forward to that as well. With that being said, thanks for watching, I'll see you in the next one. If you enjoyed the content I create then do consider becoming a patron on Patreon. You will gain access to exclusive tutorials, study documents, process papers, real-time drawing footage and more. Plus, you will also be supporting me in a more personal way. Other than that, thank you for watching this video and I'll see you soon.